parts of Karnataka. So before we start the lesson uh, climate of Karnataka, let me discuss about otherwise uh, we should know the meaning of some terms. So one means weather and another one is climate. We often use these words while we discussing the climate of Karnataka. So what do you mean by weather and what do you mean by climate? So short term determination of atmospheric changes we call it as a weather. So it may be a one day consideration, two day consideration, otherwise one week consideration. The study of atmospheric changes for a shorter period is called as a weather. Study of a weather for a period of one year is called as a climate. It means it is the determination for a longer period. Study of weather over a period of one year will be called as a climate. So then how we assess the climate? So first for example if we take the temperature first we collect the day to day temperature so we collect it for one month we took the average temperature of that month so we we got one month temperature the average temperature of this month then we collect it for 12 months it means we collect it for a one year so then afterwards we study the same pattern we follow in next few years it means 10 to 15 years we study whether the area experiences same uh, pattern of climate changes so then afterwards finally we decide the climate of a particular area whenever we call anyone so that time we exchanging our day to day weather report for example today is a sunny day today is a cloudy day so like this whenever we want to shift it to the new places so that time otherwise we may want to go tour on any places so that time even we should know about the climate of that region so this is about the weather and the climate so climate of any area influenced by certain factors what are those factors see here are some factors which influences over the climate of any region the first one is geographical location next water bodies physical features wind direction and vegetation the first one is geographical location it means the area is situated in which latitude whether it is in the tropical zone whether it is in the subtropical zone otherwise it is in the temperate zone so that is the important one so that why geographical location is also one of the important factor which influences over the climate of that region next one is water bodies it means seas and oceans near that place any sea is there any ocean is there because sea breeze it affects ocean currents it affects on the climate of that region so that why water body is also one of the important factor which influences over the climate of any region next one is physical features physical features means the land form whether it is in a plain land whether it is plateau mountainous area because we know that one when we are moving to the high altitude the temperature decreases so that why the physical feature is also one of the important factor which influences over the climate of any region. The next is wind direction. The wind is blowing from one direction to another direction. So that direction also very important which decides the climate of that region. Next one is vegetation. So vegetation of any particular area is also one of the important factor. Because of vegetation the area is good rainfall. Because of vegetation it maintains the temperature of that area. So that why vegetation is also one of the important factor which decides the climate of a particular region. So these are the five uh, factors which influences over the climate of any particular region. So India experiences a tropical monsoon type of climate. Even Karnataka experiences the same one, tropical monsoon climate. Why we given the name tropical? Because 
most part of India lies in the tropical and subtropical zone. So that why the name given as tropical monsoon climate. So what are the characteristics of a tropical monsoon climate? So here two characteristics we can found here. So one is hot and humid summer is there, and dry and cool winter we can observe. Hot and humid summer is there, and dry and cool winter we can observe in the tropical type of monsoon. By the study of a climate of one year, we divide the climate into four seasons. What are those one? First one is summer season. Next rainy season, retreating monsoon season, and winter season. So we divide it into four seasons. Let me we discuss one by one. The first one is summer season. So this season we can observe from March to May. So here in this season, the climate is very hot, dry, and humidity. We can observe. After March, the temperature rises. All over the state, and it reaches its maximum in the month of April and May. In general, the whole Karnataka experiences a hot climate. Especially the districts of the northern Karnataka experiences more temperature when compared to the other region. The districts of northern Karnataka experience more temperature and less. compared to the other regions so in this season because of high temperature that leads to the greater evaporation of the water that leads to the formation of the clouds and that brings rain for in a particular region so these rains are called as convection rains lightning and thunder is the common characteristics of these rains even some in some places hail stones also falls So these rains called by the different names in the different part of India, but in Karnataka these rains called by the name of mango showers and cherry blossoms. Why it is called as mango showers? Because it helps for ripening the mangoes. Why it is called as cherry blossoms? Because it enables the flowering of coffee plants. So that why these rains called by the name of mango showers. cherry blossoms in karnataka so this is about the summer season so the next one is rainy season this season we can observe from june to september this season is also called as a south west monsoon season so this season is very important in india so after a few months of short summer the temperature rises that leads to the low pressure is created on the land because of high temperature low pressure is created on the land especially in north india so at the same time high pressure is created in the indian ocean so that time the wind start blowing from high pressure to low pressure area it mean from sea to land the wind start blowing from sea to land so these winds blow from through the two channels one is through the arabian sea channel and another one is through the bay of bengal channel so while these winds while they blowing it holds the moisture from the sea and when it enters land so these clouds or these rain bearing winds are checked by the western ghats when it enters the land these clouds are stopped by the western ghats and results in heavy rainfall in the western ghats so coastal area and malnad region both the region receives a good amount of rainfall in the south west monsoon season so nearly karnataka gets 80% of its rainfall so coastal area malnad area receives good rainfall when these clouds move further so that time amount of rainfall get reduced here so sometimes even area receives good rainfall sometimes even areas do not receives that much rainfall but the coastal area and malnad region receives good rainfall so in this season the atmosphere is very cloudy next one because of the increase in temperature that leads to the greater humidity we can observe 
also in the atmosphere humidity is also common here and the atmosphere is very cloudy so these rice helps the farmers to grow the kharif crop so that why this season is very important for india because most of the farmers are depend upon these monsoon rains because of cultivation of the kharif crop depend upon these rains because kharif crop required more amount of water so that much of water they are getting from these southwest monsoons so this is about the rainy season in india this is very important for the indian farmers most percentage of rains are received in this season only so the next one is retreating monsoon season so retreating monsoon season we can observe it in the month of october and november so retreating retreating the word tells you retreating means going back returning back so that one we can observe in the month of october and november so this time in these months what happened there so the temperature already decreases on the land that means the high pressure is created on the land at the same time low pressure is created in the indian ocean so that time wind start blowing from high pressure area to low pressure area so you can observe here yellow arrow marks so these are showing retreating monsoon wind so these are the direction so the wind is retreating from north east to the south west towards the south west the winds are retreating here so there is no water body here so while they passing through the bay of bengal it holds the some percentage of water here and reserves in a rainfall in the states of orissa andhra pradesh and tamil nadu because of sudden amount of moisture it holds from the bay of bengal so that why it pours rains in the state of orissa andhra pradesh and tamil nadu in this time southern maidan region nearer to these states these states so that why even southern maidan region also receives some amount of rainfall in this season so because of low pressure is created in the indian ocean and in the bay of bengal that leads to the formation of the cyclones in the bay of bengal also causes rainfall in these states because of cyclones most of the amount of rainfall we can observe in these states orissa andhra pradesh and tamil nadu because of these cyclones okay these areas are flooded by water so this is about the retreating monsoon season so the next one is winter season winter season we can observe in the month of december to february december january and february so in these months the temperature decreases the humidity decreases even amount of rainfall also decreases so the temperature uniformly decreases to its average average temperature is recorded everywhere nearly 25 degree to 27 degree average temperature we can observe in the different parts of karnataka but even in some places even it goes to the least number even it reaches below 10 degree also so for example kalburgi bidar 